Before you ask, I did not do a comic got killed yet. It's been a busy day. I'll get to it in the morning. Now watch the video. What's good, everybody? What's going on? Master Sir here once again with another top five animes of the week. Where I take all the animes that's coming out each week and rank them in top five format. This is week 11. Hell, a lot of animes next week. It's over. It's over. 12 episodes. That's it. Good. But this is like the call before the storm. This is the episode before the finale. That's some of these animes. Yeah, let's get into it. Number five this week is actually Dandy. Space Dandy. Dandy's usually higher on this list, right? Here's the thing about this week's Dandy. This week's Dandy is as much as it did stand out and it really hit me as hard as Dandy usually does on a consistent basis. Dandy number one, number one, number one, number one, But it, just, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, this episode pretty much Danny, his old girlfriend, which is a box, fourth dimension, I don't know what the fuck that is. A heart. It's like some it's like a bad Valentine's Day episode, I just realized this. <laughs> they would put put that towards Valentine's Day, it would have a lot more meaning. Then again, why you do that one when you had Scarlet and Danny episode last week? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, pretty much you learn about dimensions and shit. Anything we I, I think we're supposed to learn something from this episode. I mean, if y'all try harder than I did, then you probably did. <laughs> but yeah. I'm not supposed to do Danny's spoilers, right? These videos. Anyways, <laughs> number four this week, I'm gonna give to I don't know what zero. I don't know what that zero. Dot zero. Pretty much, you know, the princess asked to stop the freaking war. Get yeah, the fuck right. <laughs> and. I'm really, I'm, I'm at the point where I don't think Mars or Earth gives a fuck. Like, Mars wants war, they're gonna fight it. Earth doesn't, but we're gonna keep your ass coming over here. <laughs> That's the state we're in right now. And you can tell how everybody was getting ready for battle and stuff, especially like with In the Hole and his classmates. It wasn't, for, it wasn't, it's not the fact that Mars is coming after us anymore. We just on constant standby ready. The only thing we haven't done is go over to Mars and try to fight. Second season. <laughs> it might happen. It'd be gangster if that. But yeah, this episode. Pretty much, uh, Princess is trying to get in the battle. That didn't work out well. Slain, Slain, you don't, you, you ain't gonna get a break anytime soon, man. I just hope you catch up next episode, bro. But in the hole is going in this, this week. Pretty much, Mecca falling from the sky and shit. In the hole had dumbass plans that even I would look at skeptical, like the fuck you trying to make me do this. But, you know, it worked out. But, we kind of screwed at the end of the episode, but, you know. In the hole, in the hole's here. He's gonna save us. You know, in the hole, man. I don't know what the deal it was. Episode, I mean, number number four. Dang, my bad. My tongue's messed up. Anyway, <laughs> sorry for the unprofessionalism. Number three this week is that JoJo. I know I said last week all the animes were gonna end, but this was JoJo. Finale. The finale of JoJo. Uh, part one. <laughs> Next season starts in January. <laughs> it's like this, right? They had to finish beating, I, I think it was High Street Kids, some bitch with a stand. I reason I put it like some bitch with a stand. I don't think many bitches had stands. <laughs> uh, I still want to see what that woman looked like. <laughs> like, I don't care. Well, I do care about the facial features, but it's definitely a fine ass woman laid down on the beach if you guys let go. It's obviously going to come back in the second part. But you know, it's all good. JoJo said he was gonna get it in, he got it in. He broke the damn teeth. You know that's how JoJo when he like when he usually wins his fights and stuff like this, it's just because he's like outpowers his opponent. Like she tried to squash him with the teeth. He was just like, nah, you ain't strong though. But yeah, they finally made it to Egypt. Yeah. Let's get it. Dio, we coming for you. Don't run, nigga. Anyways, JoJo number three. Number two this week, I'm giving it to Hunter X Hunter. 2011 version. This episode was very emotional, bro. Like, had a lot of emotional feel this episode. Like, I'm playing. Everybody was crying, bro. <laughs> Go on, mess up. Even Jing fussed it. Pirates fan fucked up. All the people that hate Pirates fans fucked up. <laughs> Nigga won the election, but I quit. Nigga, god damn. That whole thing going with Kalua and Aula and something. Yumi was there too. Anyways, all that. It's, fun, it's funny how in this episode, like, the thing with Gon meeting, finally meeting his dad and stuff like that, 
Of all the emotional conflict that came on this episode, that was the least. That's funny. From the emotional standpoint, Jean and Gon finally meeting as all this time since the beginning of the story, the original plot, is upstaged twice. In the same episode. Damn. <laughs> but anyways, it was still a good episode. Moving on though to number one. Number one episode this week. I have to say, it was Rare Wolf. Not actually, not, not, it was totally cool. <laughs> now, Rare Wolf was good though. But, it was good. But, Rare Wolf is the number one this week. No, no, damn. Tokyo Ghoul, see, we played too much. Tokyo Ghoul is number one this week. <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul, pretty much everybody was getting ready to fight shit. Jason fucking up Kaniki and shit. He censored the fuck out of it so he didn't get to enjoy it. He didn't even see it actually. I got a feeling like that episode was supposed to be like three minutes longer than it actually was. Just showing him being cursed and shit. Apparently he put a centipede in his ear and shit. You guys know you wouldn't have enjoyed that. You know you would have enjoyed that. By the Funimation release, they probably got it uncensored. There's a lot of uncensored shit you didn't get to be able to see. I like the coconut dragon off. Anyways, everybody's getting ready. Talking about the Violet Brothers. Amon's getting in. And Hickey finally got his dumb ass right here. <laughs> Hopefully he gets it in finally in this series. I mean, it's gonna be like not. It's not gonna be the first time he can get in. There. Maybe like the second and a half. <laughs> but yeah, next week, Rare Wars, <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul, I mean, all in over. Well, all in over don't end, but it's taking a break. Hunter X Hunter is pretty much having his last major episode. Even though I kind of believe that episode 148 should still be taken very seriously. And JoJo's done now. Dandy probably still got like two more episodes left after this. Yeah, guys. The fall season, uh, my bad. The fall season starts in freaking two weeks. Yeah, it's almost time to change the title. Anyways, <laughs> number five, Daddy. Number four, Alda Noah. Number three, JoJo. Number two, Hunter. And number one, Tokyo. Ghoul. I'm gonna make it real. Watch the whole video in the comment in the middle of the thing, and I'll see y'all. Peace.